Hello, one of the obstacles that we've had to face over the years doing British egg gauge modelling is what to do about couplings. The Merklin coupling is very big and chunky but it does mean that things like coaches stand a long way apart. There's also not a lot of room between the end of the bogies and the end of some coaches on British stock so if it's anything like a coupler box like an MTL uh, Buckeye coupling. So two or three of us in Z gauge are experimenting using neodymium magnets as magnetic couplings. I'm going to do a series of experiments, just tryouts, to get my Mark II rake that's done in Intercity Executive livery coupled together using 2mm brass strip as a carrier and 2mm neodymium magnets. These are available from eBay. Uh, very cheap for how many you get and immensely powerful. You have to be careful because they're quite brittle. Um, but we're going to do a test bed on a few coaches to see how it works and see if it'll actually stay coupled when it's running round. The basic principle is a simple bent bit of 2mm brass strip. This is pivoted off the bottom of the underframe with a 14BA screw and washer and at the end where it folds down the 2mm magnets attached with some thick super glue. I started with a BG, a brake gangway. These are usually found at the heads of trains anyway. And this is actually going to be a translator vehicle. This has actually got a Merklin coupling at one end to connect to the locos. And the first of the magnetic couplings at the other end. And you can see how it's pivoted off the bottom. There's a 14BA screw. And there is a 2mm magnet. Now obviously if you're going to put a rake together it will probably end up running as a fixed rake. But it does mean that one of the, the next one and vehicle along we'll have to have the magnet of the opposite polarity and there's one of the Mark II TSOs and straight away you can see the attraction between the two vehicles to separate them you just pull them vertically to break the magnetic flux the Mark II's are by Ivan Industries on Shapeways um, the bodies are done in FUD as it used to be called very nicely detailed and for the underframes I'm using Ivan's semi-experimental SBF Mark II underframes. These are done in, in effect a black nylon. Um, first thing you have to do is cut away the buffer beams in between the buffers because you need somewhere for the L-shaped adapter to swing. The bogies are MTL 904s, they're sort of early passenger truck. Um, these are retained with 10BA bolts onto a captive nut on top that's just arrodited into the top. Um, and ultimately these will be fitted with Fox Valley 36 inch metal wheels to improve the rollability.
So the Intercity Mark II rake's been fitted with these 2mm magnetic couplings. Um, one of them's still playing up, I'm going to have to check the clearances at the end just to see if there's something fouling, but five of them are quite happily running around behind the BG. The next one to do, I'm going to do is the um, Atlas Editions Pullmans uh, and Great Western Collet Coaches. Um, these have already got the bogeys fitted, we just need to find a way of coupling them together. Um, but Pullmans are going to be ideal for putting behind the rebuilt and unrebuilt merchant navies and West Countries. So expect to see them on the layout soon. <laughs> 